Let me see. I got some more questions here from Sherpa. He says, so I'm a veteran. I served in the air wing within the Marine Corps. I am currently doing a bachelor's degree in IT with a focus on cybersecurity using my GI Bill. I want to be an ISSO. Okay, this is great. So this is Sherpa. This is kind of what I did. I was in the Air Force. I did eight years in the Air Force. I started off as a security forces person i was a weapon specialist for like five years and then i cross-trained is what we call it change mos's if you're in the army i cross-trained into uh com computer operators what they called it basically i was a i was a help desk guy right i was a help desk guy they would train us further into firewalls or networking or all, all, all that kind of stuff i don't know what they do these days i mean i've been out of the military for a long time so now they probably do contracting or something anyway i got put into the position as a, of an information system security officer inside the Air Force. And I I didn't like it, right? I didn't like it because at the time it was all documentation. And I thought I thought cyber I thought IT was just all, you know, putting going on the command line and uh changing, I don't know, IP chains or something, you know, like ACLs or something like that, right? I, that's what I wanted to do. And I did I did a lot of that. But but what I noticed was that that wasn't when I got out of the military, it doesn't, doesn't pay as well, right? I mean, and then you're competing with all these kids who are fresh out of college who know how to freaking uh, write, you know, write code in their head in their sleeps and stuff, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm going to compete with those guys. But uh, information system security officer work is one of the most rewarding, most the highest paid thing I've ever done. It's, uh, it's allowed me to remain in cybersecurity and in some cases remain technical. It's been an amazing journey for me. So that is great that you want to do that, pursue that career. If you don't already have experience in it, I would highly recommend that you attempt to get yourself in a role as an information security officer before you get out or when you get out, right? You also say that you helped the squadron pass the core compliance inspection and receive the CERTCOM. I'm assuming that's some kind of ATO, authority to operate or something like that. Um, I do have a TS. Um, so I want to use this experience and clearance to get an ISSO job. You totally can, especially with that kind of ex – the only thing I would say is put that on your resume, okay? And if you want an example of how to put this on your resume, let me give you one. I want to give you an example of how to put it. Now, keep in mind, I'm an ex-military guy. One of the problems that military people have, especially if you've been in for a while, is that you just kind of have – we have this other language, you know what I mean? We have this other language that we speak in the military. We speak a lot of we speak with a lot of acronyms. We speak with a lot of jargon that's that's specific not only to the Department of Defense but to your actual branch. So what I would encourage you to do is go on LinkedIn. This is my profile on LinkedIn. Look at my resume. On my resume, I use a lot of keywords. If you want to find me? Just go to Bruce Brown. Type in CISSP. You'll find me. I think. I think you'll find me. But here's the, I don't know if you can see, you can't see this. Let me see if I can add this, this link into the, I got like 10, 10 people watching me right now. It, yeah, okay, I can't, I can't send the link. But anyway, so I'm at Bruce, C-I-S-S-P, R-M-F, and you'll find me. Go there, check out my resume, look at how I did this. Look at my wording in particular. Look at the keywords that the industry use. You don't even have to use my resume. You, you can go into LinkedIn. Look at other people's resume and look how they word things. Look what they call information system security officer. You'll notice that they don't just use information system security officer. They use things like cybersecurity compliance. They use stuff like cybersecurity. They might even say cybersecurity analyst, something like that. They use different terms for some of the stuff we use. ISO is, is actually a good keyword, by the way. So you want to use that one. But you want to like, OK, CERTCOM. You, you use the term CERTCOM. I actually didn't even know what that was. Like that's specific to whatever organization, whatever unit, whatever branch you're in. So I didn't even know. You want to use CERCOM because you can get a contracting job doing CERCOM, do, doing CERCOMs. However, what you also want to do is add things like other terms like um, authority to operate. Or uh, you might want to use um, uh, attained a certification for, right? Just use the types of terms that are being used in the industry. In, in the civilian industry, right? 
and you want to use terms like NIST 853, NIST 837, because that's what you're using in the Department of Defense. They call it, I don't know what they're calling it these days, DOD for DOD Risk Management Framework for IT or something like that. They have a different term for it. But the term, the commercial term, they're you, they're doing, here's the funny thing. They're doing the same thing that we're doing. The same thing that you're doing right now th to get that CERTCOM is the same thing they're doing at Northrop, at Lockheed, at all these organizations that are paying six figures. You just got to use the right terms. That's it. NIST 853, NIST 837. That's what you're using. You're literally using the same controls. You just got to put those same keywords on your resume. If you want examples of that, what you do is go to, you'll go to, I'm on LinkedIn right now, but you could probably do this with Monster or some of the other sites. And what you want to do is type in, watch this, I'm going to type in ISO. Now what this is going to do is come up with a ton of jobs and resumes from other people. And before I go any further, you guys should know, if you guys are interested in getting into this, breaking into this field, if you're super excited about stuff I'm talking about and you you, you like really into security compliance and like, man, I want to get that, man, that money looks good. It's such a secure job. It is. But if you're interested in getting into this field, I teach a very in-depth course, course about this. I'll talk about the foundations of risk management framework as an ISO. I'll talk about the controls. I break down the actual controls and how to interpret them and then the documentation that you need for this. Go to convocourses.com, link in the description below. And it will show you how to do this. And another thing that I do is I teach people how to market their resume. If you're really interested. In doing, and by the way, it's something I've used personally for many years. And it's worked for me. I've not been without a job even through 2008 collapse. Even through, like no matter what happens, I have a job. As long as cybersecurity exists, I will have a job. And the reason why is because I know how to market myself. That's the name of the game. Anyway, so I've got another course on resume writing. This is stuff I actually use for myself. I've got one on how to market your resume, which is super important. But I'm going to give you some free game right here, right now. So anyway, back to what we were saying. So go to LinkedIn, type in, if you can follow with me if you want. Go to LinkedIn, type in ISO, Information System Security Officer, or you can type in the whole word if you want. But we're looking for keywords. So ISO, right? You can right away see people with ISO right in their resume. So ISO is a key word. Now, what's important is the, the top person in this, right? The top person, that means that they did a really good job on their resume. They did a good enough job to where it's one of the top search rankings um, in uh, for me. So if I go through their resume, I can see the key words that they've used. Use the same key words that they're, that they're using. Don't use the Air Force, I mean, you can use the Air Force's jargon or the, or the Marines jargon or something like that because you might land a contract on people who are trying to do that. But I'm saying expand your horizons by using the key words that everyone else is using. Go right to their resume and look at the key words they're using. Look at the jobs they have, right? Look at all these key words she put in here. She put Northcom, Nor, uh, NORAD. So you could put all that stuff in there. Spell them out too. Like here's what she did. She put a uh, security assessment plan right sap right that this is how you do it right here this how she did it is exactly how you do it risk man framework rmf right she knows the keyword game that's that's how you do it right there that's how you do it you can look at my resume but to be honest with you there's literally millions of resumes out there you could choose from to check it out right so yeah go ahead and go to linkedin check that out get those keywords on your resume that will land you a job I think I had another question about this, by the way. Let me see if I can find that question. I was going to address these in a second, but this is very reminiscent of one that I had. Okay, somebody said, same thing. I get a lot of vets on here, right? And it's just a shame uh, that they're asking these, kind of, asking these kind of questions. 20 year uh, Navy veteran with a CISSP, a CISM, and a CASP. My God, that's a lot of, that's a lot of professional level certifications. All those are very good certifications, by the way. Um, I've been having a tough time landing a job after the military. I think it has a problem to do with my resume. Would you have time to take a look? You know, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is why I wrote this course. This course right here, resume marketing course. This is about how I've been marketing myself over the years. And I've not had a job. I've not had a problem getting a job since I did this. Tells me how I find keywords, how to put them in there. How, where to put it, how to put it in there, where everything. Like it's very intimate. 
it's one of my best, in my opinion, one of my best works because it's it's paid me for many, many years. That said, like I said, like first step, find some keywords, right? Find keywords, just like what I did here. I'm giving you free game right here. This is how you do it. This is part of this is part of what I teach. I go way deeper than this, but this is part of what I teach. Go to LinkedIn, type in a keyword, type in a keyword. Look at other people's resume. Look at the keywords they're using. Look at the keywords they're using. Use that for your resume. I'm not telling you to copy and paste everything they put on a resume, obviously, right? I'm not saying that. I'm saying look at the how they paraphrase things. Look at the keywords that they use. 